Hey, what's going on guys? Buffalo Gamer 77 here, and uh, I know I haven't done a pickup video in a long time. I think the last one was maybe February or March, and uh, I wanted to update uh, my pickups that since then I, I've received. And uh, let's start off with, uh, let's see, Nintendo, NES. I just got one game for Nintendo, and uh, I, I like shooter games, and this one I haven't played that much yet, but uh, I heard it's pretty good, and it was cheap, and it's Gradius or Gladius, Gradius. And let's see, I have let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six SNES games that I picked up. Um, I would say four of them, five of them, or on Craigslist, and I got a pretty good deal on on, on most of them. Uh, let's see. First one is uh, Earthworm Jim. This is number two, and I think I got it for let's say five or seven dollars. I'm not I'm not too sure. Around there, and from the same person on Craigslist, I got uh, Marvel Super Heroes War of the Gems, and I got both of them for twenty. So I'm not sure if you want to say ten each or fifteen five. I don't know, but uh, this condition and this one is not that not that great. I'm sure I could probably clean it up a little bit. But uh, it has a little yellowing on it, but you know, the game works fine. I played it. It's pretty hard. Let's see. Mega Man X. Super Double Dragon. Uh, Bell Toads Double Dragon. And I think the best deal I got on this game right here is uh, Contra 3. I paid eighteen dollars for it. Uh, this is my second copy. Uh, I'm not trying to like you know have a lot of doubles, but for eighteen dollars, you know I could definitely trade this for something that you know I want in the future. So this is a double I have right here. Uh, so I would say for all those games on Craigslist, let's see, Super Double Dragon was twenty-two, Bell Toes Double Dragon was twenty, uh, Mega Man X. I bought two of them, one for me, one for my friend of mine. Um, I paid 20 for his and 25 for mine. Uh, I, bought, I bought mine before I got the second one, so uh, he got a better deal, deal than I did. So uh, it's a pretty good, con pretty good condition. It's a little dirty, but I can, I can clean that up. So let's see here. I got one Wii game, and I bought it because it was like two dollars and it was complete. So I figured, why not for two dollars? Let's give it a chance, you know. Uh, Dragon Blade. Never heard of it. I don't know really what it's about, but uh, again, the game was two dollars. So, and I bought one DS game. I actually, got this about two days ago, and I was trying to find this game for a while. Complete. Well, this game is missing the slipcover, but uh, I was trying to find it with a box and manual. Complete, and uh, GameStop didn't have it. And one day, I went to the GameStop and they had it. And it's Cape Story 3D. I'm not sure if anyone has played this game or not before, but uh, it's sort of like Metroid a little bit. You know, there's not like a map yet that I came across yet, but uh, I played it for about an hour so far, and it's pretty good. The music in it is really, really good. Uh, so if you have not uh, heard of this game, ch you know, check out some videos on it, and if you can pick it up, pick it up. All right, next is on to PS2. I got some pretty good games here on PS2, and. All of them except for one are from Craigslist. Uh, the first one I, I picked up in my local game store, used game store, and it is Monster Hunter for the PS2. Uh, this game was $13 and it's complete. So it's pretty cool. $13. I think I think this might be the first Monster Hunter game. I'm not I'm not sure if there's one for PS1 or not, but uh, I don't know. It's good. Uh, next ones I got really good deals on on Craigslist. Well, actually, one of them I didn't get on Craigslist. I got it online. Uh, got it on eBay, and I got a great deal on it. Well, the game that, to me is a really good game, and it's Odin Sphere. I believe I watched. Uh, I think it was Metal Jesus. Maybe did a video on this or ranked it in, in hidden gems. Maybe, but uh, I checked out some gameplay footage, and it was you know, it was really cool. Uh, so I picked it up and I paid uh, fifteen dollars for it, and it's complete. At my local game store, they want 25 for it, and I went to a convention and uh, had too many games, and they wanted 25 for it or 24 around there, and it was missing the manual. Uh, so I'm glad I waited out for it. 
and got online for cheaper. Uh, next one, great deal, Guilty Gear X2. This game is also complete. And this one, I believe, was $6 on Craigslist. Let's see. Disgaea, Hour of Darkness. Uh, this game is uh, the first Disgaea. And I played briefly of it. It's a strategy RPG. I'm not sure if you're into that type of game, but uh, if you are, this guy has a great series. Um, so, if you, know, if you want to check out this game, check out some uh, gameplay footage online here. And this game right here, I paid... It was a bundle deal, so the guy wanted 18 for it, but with a bundle, I got it for, cheap, for cheaper. And uh, it's a Persona 3. This is my first Persona game that I played, and so far, it's really good. Except for the, the beginning of the game... Uh, there was a lot of dialogue, a lot of uh, a lot of cutscenes, uh, but after that, it's pretty much uh, battling and you know leveling up your character. It's it's pretty good, pretty good so far. I'm about six to eight hours into it right now, so so far so good. And the last game I got was probably the best deal, and the game is almost brand new. Like if you, when you open the game up, it opens like to here, and it's Phantom Brave for PS2. It's not really a that expensive a game, uh, but it is. It was only four dollars, and it's complete with a manual and almost brand new condition here. Uh, so I have not played it yet, so I don't really know much about it. But it's made by NIS, NIS America, and NIS America makes a lot of good games. They uh, they also made uh, Cave Story too. You know, Cave Story 3D here. Let's see. I do have uh, two Sega Saturn games that I uh, picked up. Um, one's called Soviet Strike. This game was, I think it was $7, and it's, oops, complete with the manual. So, let's see, I paid, yep, $7.99. It's a shooter game, I'm not sure if you've played it or not before, but uh, it's a shooter. And I, I played it briefly, and it was, it was pretty good. And I, also, I, I got the game in a game store locally. And uh, the last Sega Saturn game I got is uh, Clockwork Night 2. I saw this on uh, Metal Jesus Hidden Gems for Sega Saturn, and uh, I picked it up. You know, it's, it's all right. It's a, you know, it's kind of a, like a kids type of game. Um, it's pretty challenging though. I have not, you know, I played it for maybe about a half hour just to check it out, and yeah, it's pretty cool. It's also complete. Let's see. I paid. The guy wanted forty for it, but with the bundle, I mean, yeah, I got a, I got a pretty good pretty good deal on it. Now it's hard to say. I think I got seven games for seventy-five dollars, so average ought to be twelve dollars a game. And you know, there's games in there that are not worth twelve dollars. Like uh, I'm a, I think Phantom Brave is only like an eight to ten dollar a game. So you know, there's you know, there's games that are worth more, some games are worth less. So but average it out to be around twelve dollars per game, which is not bad. Let's see here, and the last three games I picked up are for PS3. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Disgaea three for PS3. Picked up at uh, GameStop. It was uh, ten dollars, and I picked up Dark Souls. I played it. It's a pretty hard game. I'm not sure if you guys played it or not, but it's pretty pretty hard. Uh, I played for about an hour, hour and a half of it, and uh, I don't know. It's a good game. Definitely hard, challenging. And the last game I haven't played yet, but I've heard about it, and I like this type of game, puzzle type of you know, puzzle type of strategy game. And it's made by Atlas. It's uh, Catherine. I think I paid, I don't even sure, fifteen dollars for it maybe. I don't recall exactly. But Atlas is a good company. They they put out a lot of good games. So I know it's a lot of games that you know I picked up here. Not not a lot, but to me it's a lot of games that are over the course of the last few, last few months. And uh, I'm still looking. And hopefully I'll have uh, more videos up there shortly, of uh, more pickups. You know, some tips on buying things online. Uh, definitely check out your local Craigslist. There's some good deals out there. And if you, you know, the guy has, has more than one game, try to do a bundle deal. And that's what I did on a lot of my games I picked up here. Only a few of them were from you know, local game stores. So uh, Craigslist and Half.com, eBay. Uh, keep checking them out. Amazon, I have not really bought anything from Amazon. But a lot of things are not complete. So, I, you know, I try to buy my games complete. Except for, you know, loose SNES games or NES games. I also picked up a few games from Too Many Games, but I already did a video on that in my pickup, so I didn't. I did not include those in, in this pickup here. 
so thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I will have more videos up shortly. Have a good day.